I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out the KISS French Acrylic Sculpture Kit. So this has many things you can do with it. It has the natural and the French tip, so you can kind of go either way. But today I'm going to be showing you what you get in the kit and how to use it. Well, kind of how to use it. Just a couple of demonstrations on different kind of nails you can create with this little kit. Now it cost me £10 from Amazon, I think it was, and yeah, not that bad. You know, not too shabby. So the brush is a little bit... Um, what's the word just not cool but it gets the job done so yeah flicking all the residue out I'm not gonna go and wash this brush because I wasn't planning on ever using it again it was just simply for the purposes of this video so you get the small acrylic brush some nail tips I think there's 40 nail tips in total some clear acrylic it is sealed and the seal is quite difficult to get off but I did get it off in the end um, but yeah, a nice jar of clear acrylic, you get some nail glue to apply your tips and your acrylic liquid obviously to um, apply your acrylic to your nails. So yeah, it's only a tiny little um, bottle of liquid, you maybe only get two sets at the most. You get this tiny little nail file and also a cuticle pusher which could probably stab you straight through that friggin nail. Um, it wasn't the most comfortable thing ever. But yeah, if you want to see how this turned out, then keep watching this video. Oh, you also get instructions, but obviously I'm already a professional, so I ain't gonna need that. But if you need that, then obviously read them. So I'm just emptying some of the liquid into my dappen dish and I'm using the brush just to allow it to flow down there, just to make sure we don't get any spillage or anything like that. This is a clear liquid and it had quite a smell to it. Obviously um, acrylic liquids are quite strong anyway because they are a chemical, you know, like they have fumes. So here is just a closer look at the brush. There were a lot of hairs shedding from the brush. Obviously I've just opened it so sometimes that is natural to do that anyway. Um, but yeah, just a closer look at the brush. It is so tiny. It was like, I don't even know what size this brush was but it was tiny. So I'm just gonna open up the nail tips and today I'm working on this hand here and I'm going to do two with the natural tip and then two with the French tip and show you the kind of styles that you can do and get from using um, a kit like this. Also, this is what the nails look like. If you were to apply them to your nails, you would also blend them in, obviously. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply the tips and then I will be back. So once you've applied your tips, you want to go ahead and cut them to the desired length that you are wanting to wear. You can obviously come in with the file and also shape them to an oval or a stiletto if you also wanted to do that as well. Um, so yeah, there's many different shapes you can do. So once I've um, shortened the nail tips, I'm coming in with the clear acrylic. And on this nail, it's literally just a tip and overlay that I was demonstrating. So you will prep your nail. There is no prep that actually comes with this um, product or with this kit but obviously it doesn't need one otherwise there would have been something in there so yeah 
You would prep your nail, push back your cuticles, apply your nail tip, make sure everything is clean and sanitized, and then you would come in with your clear, and that is just a tip and overlay. So what you can do here is apply gel polish, you can apply nail polish, you can leave it as it is just to have a natural look, and that is it, it's as simple as that. So for this next nail, again, I applied the natural nail tip, but instead of having a just plain tip and overlay, if you bought a glitter, maybe from glitter planet i'll have it linked down below this is cherry bomb you can come in and have a tip and overlay but with some sparkle which is super gorgeous so yeah i've literally applied a small small thin base of clear acrylic and whilst it's wet i'm coming in with my glitter and i'm just applying that onto the nail making sure to cover it generously and i'll come back later in the video to cap it So moving on to the next nail, we're going to just treat this as a nice plain French, just a French tip, and we're just going to come in and start basically encapsulating what we have there or just applying the acrylic because it's again just a general straightforward tip and overlay. The only difference is that we have got that white tip on the end there, so it's a French tip. The thing that I don't like about white French tips is they can look really bulky, the smile lines aren't really, you know, modern. They're just kind of standard. So they can look really wide and not too great on the nail. But I'll show you when I'm filing how to really slender this nail down and have it looking as good as it possibly can. That is all I'm going to say here. So again, this nail is also just going to be a French tip, but what you can do before you go ahead and fully encapsulate it is you can come in with some glitter on the tip area and just fancy it up, make it a little bit jazzy. I'm just using some clear iridescent glitters from Glitter Planet and it just really sparkles and just looks really pretty. It was hard to capture on camera actually because they were kind of like a clear iridescent, but it really did look pretty. And once that's set, you can come in and encapsulate the whole nail, just as you did the one previously. And then I'll encapsulate the glitter nail and we'll go ahead and file. Also guys, I just want to show you a little demo of how I pick up the bead. So as you saw, I got my brush, I drained a little bit of liquid off there, dragged my brush for a count of two seconds, and then here is a bead and how it places. 
obviously just pat your brush to wherever it's going and allow the bead to come from the brush simple as that just thought i'd pop that in there for you guys to see and now i'm going to go ahead and shape one nail with this little tiny file which was literally ridiculous but yeah it did the job i guess but you could go ahead and upgrade we sell files at glitter planet in packs of five and they are super affordable and they are bomb i use them all the time so i did continue to shape this set well it's not really a set but to shape the other nails with the files from glitter planet Okay guys, so now I've finished applying everything, um, we're going to come in with a no wipe top coat. So I'm just going to top coat all of the nails again, as I said with this plain tip and overlay, you could come in with a nail polish or a gel polish to finish off, or some pigments, whatever you have handed to yourself. We supply all those things, well we don't supply gel polish, but we supply a lot of nail art and things at Glitter Planet and you can use my discount code NINJA10 for 10% off. But yeah, I'm just applying the top coat. I'm going to cure in the light for 60 seconds and then I'll show you guys the final result. Okay guys, so here's the final result. I really hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it give you a little bit of insight into the KISS acrylic nail kit. Also, I just want to mention that this video was not sponsored. I bought this kit with my own money. I wanted to show you guys, test it out for you guys and give you just a little bit of a demo, feedback, information, whatever you guys may want or take from this video. I just hope that it helped you out. And please guys, always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back.